improve, but for some dealing with loose skin after major weight loss, you can't exercise it away. CBS4 anchor Rhiannon Alley shows us a growing trend in plastic surgery, giving some a chance to flaunt their arms in ways they never dreamed of. Our class From the White House to the red carpet, our obsession with arms has reached new heights, and with the South Florida sunshine comes the pressure of sleeveless days year-round. Never able to really feel comfortable at the beach. Looking at this beautiful, confident woman now, it's hard to understand why Vicki Campodonico would ever feel self-conscious. But just a year and a half ago, she looked like a completely different person. Or maybe West, we don't know. Her dream of being a performer seemed impossible with so much extra weight. She underwent gastric sleeve surgery, losing 200 pounds in the months that followed. Even after I lost the weight, I mean, I had bat wings like down to here. They were just disgusting. It's a problem Aventura based plastic surgeon Dr. Adam Rubenstein says is becoming more common. When you think about how many people are losing weight now, lap bands, gastric sleeves, gastric bypass, and, and just exercise and diet, people are really thinking about their weight and dropping pounds. Well, that comes along with baggage. Upper arm lift procedures have skyrocketed in the U.S. Statistics released by the American Society of Plastic yeah. Surgeons show in 2000, just 300 women underwent the knife to fix their arms. In 2012, more than 15,000 did. For women like Vicki and Vanessa Bonamy, who also lost 200 pounds, that loose skin, or bat wings as they're often called, was removed with a brachioplasty, a surgery which requires an incision from the elbow to the armpit, leaving a visible scar behind. For most patients, it's a very worthwhile trade-off to have that thin scar compared to the hanging skin and the extra fat. And they, they feel much more comfortable. They'll trade that scar for what they had before any day. The results are instant. The before and after pictures for Vanessa and for Vicki are astonishing. So they spend years, maybe their whole life, with an upper arm that they really don't like. And then in that one moment, we get to unveil their new arms they're going to have for the rest of their lives. It's very emotional. For Vanessa Bonamy, it meant getting her life back. When you see pictures of yourself, from then, what, what do you think? Who's that you girl? Think? Who's that girl? I'm like, I don't know that girl. It's like, I mean, I look at her and she's smiling, but it's like the person today is living life. And looking through old pictures with Vicki, it's clear her journey is just beginning. Incredible. I'm so happy. I mean, I could just, I'm gonna start getting really emotional, but I'm so happy because now I can walk into places and not feel like the world is looking at me. Now, if they're looking at her, it's for the confident woman she's become. They both look great, don't they? Well, brachioplasty costs an average of $8,000. And as I mentioned, it's not for everyone. Liposuction is another option, but it's for less severe cases. It's not for removing all of that loose skin. Rhiannon Alley, CBS4 News Tonight.